Hey guys, welcome back to the Expert Walkthrough for Dark Souls 2. I'm your host, Let's Play Dark Souls HD. And first off, I would like to thank everyone who joined the streams Wednesday and Thursday on the 10th and the 11th. Those were awesome streams. They were absolutely phenomenal. They were a complete blast. And I'm glad that those of you who decided to come were there. Now, we left off here in uh, Brightstone Cove, Seldor, and there's two things we need to do first. I need to go back to Majula real quick because I've got two Estus Flask shards that I need to use up. Is that a, is yes, it's a shard. It's two of them. Because we definitely want more Estus Flask. Why not? Alright, what does that put us at? We have nine Estus Flasks, and it is a plus five, so I think we're looking pretty good right now. Now, the other thing that happened was we beat that boss, so we actually need to go back here, and we have to go talk to Tark to get our reward. It's not a reward that we need, but it's one that I'm going to show anyway, because who knows what you might need it for. All right, how many petrified dragon bones do I have? Three. Three. And our sword is plus two, so that means we can take our art sword up one more level. I think I might end up going and doing that. Damn curse pots. Just won't give up. No matter how many times I smash them. Okay. Somebody confirmed to me that you cannot parry these guys. Come on. Shit, I could just two-shot these guys. Go ahead. That's much easier. Oh, never mind. I missed. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Let's try that again. This way. Oh my god. How do I keep missing? Go! Go! Whew. I've only done this a million times. Hey, Tark. What's going on, buddy? Defeated my better half. This is my thanks. Take it. All right, he gives you a fragrant branch of yore. I have no gods to pray to, but still I pray that your journey will be safe. Okay, and he gives you the warm up. I have no but And that's all his dialogue for now. He only, well, he doesn't give you just one gift. And, let's see, let me fight this guy one more time just to see if I can get a drop off of him. Um, there's another boss that we'll defeat later. Yeah, this guy's got more health. We'll defeat another boss later that he will again give us a reward for. Uh, no drop. Oh well. Alright, now the axe that the lion guys use, the lion warriors, they... That axe isn't terrible. It has pretty high base damage and it ends up getting a B in strength if you plus 10 it. So, I mean, it gets a good, uh, a good bonus off of your scaling if you max it out. What the hell am I doing? Could just do this. All right, so now we need to go back to Majula real quick, and we need to... Well, actually, I may as well just go to McDuff. McDoof! Let's see if I can get anything good from him. I don't really think I want to infu... Ooh. At Mananda. Should I summon him and whoop his ass? We'll hold off on that for now. 
I hope so. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shit, now I need four. Don't you love it? Now, speaking of multiplayer and invasions, um, apparently... Apparently that person that invaded me here in part 22 was, uh, the person's name was Genpai. Apparently she's a really popular streamer named Jen Denise. Um, I've been watching some of her streams lately and she's actually a really good streamer. She kicks a whole lot of ass, that's for sure. And, you know, there were some people here that were in disagreement that I beat her fairly. There were, there were, I'm not gonna name any names, Pro Elite, but there were some people that were in serious disagreement that said that she would have totally crushed me if she hadn't fallen and lost most of her health, but you guys saw that fight. We're just gonna clear that up now. You guys saw that I was pretty much toying with her. If, you know, the gloves had come off and it had gotten down to Rock Samurai versus Gen Pai, I'm fairly confident that I still could have whooped her ass, but... I don't know, we'll have to find out when she decides to rematch me. Okay, so let's take things back to the beginning of the level as if you had never got the bonfire. When you head in here, you want to stick to this side first. You're going to have these goobers here that come out of these tents. Come on. Oh, goodness. They don't die in one hit, though. They're dying too. Okay, they do curse damage. So these are not the kind of enemies that you want hitting you a lot at a time. So if you can, try to fight them one-on-one. -on -one. Oh my god. There we go. Pull this guy over here. Get rid of him. Okay, I don't want to keep hearing that nasty groan. So... Claranthi ring it is. Alright. Now when you go over here... I already pointed this out, but Ben Hart's summon sign is in here. If you want to summon him. He's mildly useful. Now you've got these two pigs over here. And they turn into absolute monsters on New Game Plus. I mean like straight up giant fanged boars but anyway there's always two of them here but there is a one in i think it's one in a hundred or one in a thousand or something like that chance of a third pig that's not hostile popping up and it will lead you down to the location of a mushroom that has a pickaxe underneath it so that's the only way to get the pickaxe but you can pull these things as well you got that guy standing up there Oh my god. There we go. Oh, I may as well pull this guy. Hey, get down here. And the tracking on these curved swords can be kind of nasty sometimes. It doesn't always work in your favor. Can jump attack though. Okay. So that's it for the series of tents. I do not believe there's anything up here. Nope. Okay. So next stop, the well. Now we saw these in Huntsman's Cops. It's like piles of rocks with bodies on them. Don't forget this soul item over here. Alright, the way to get inside this house is as follows. A lot of people make this jump more complicated than it really is. You don't really have to do anything here. It doesn't matter that the roof is in the way. You don't have to jump at all. All you have to do is sprint. Like that. And you get some urns with the holy water, which is just another sign of how crazy similar this place is to the creepy Salem Witch Trials. 
I think this is an effigy? Yep, five human effigies. Not bad. Okay, so that's it for the first area. Now we're gonna get into the more tricky parts, because this place does get somewhat difficult. So, over here, this is where your bow is gonna be your best friend. You've got these guys here that are patrolling on top with these giant boulders. And what they do is they trigger those boulders as soon as you go down here and try to get that item there hanging off the edge. You can see the blood stains, you can see the orange soapstones. Yep, trap ahead, be wary above. You know, the good stuff. What you can do is you can pull these guys, the bow, and then you can shoot the boulder contraption. And if you're quick enough, it'll kill those guys, but I wasn't, because I suck. But, you know. And my sword's better than your torch, brother. Okay. Let me take this out. That guy gets crushed by his own boulder, which is always entertaining. get that guy to come down here if he will nope guess not all right you would have died for that <laughs> okay what are you doing up here okay that's a better soul item and right here you can take minor fall damage but I honestly don't feel like it because the ladder is so close It'll give you a good idea of what we're about to deal with, though. Let's go. Well, we may as well get down here. It's a better look anyway. Let's break out the binoculars. See if we can get a good look at what's going on. You bastards. Oh. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> Whoa try to get them in groups like that. My life gems? I sure do. Don't feel like wasting my precious Estus flask. Alright. So there's some interesting stuff waiting for us. We've got like pools of spikes down there that do, you know, minuscule damage when you walk through them. That whole town area is going to be so confusing to explain, but... I'm hoping that I'll do a decent job when I get there. Let's see, none of that structure there will be climbed or anything like that. You can't climb on any of that. This building here, you see that item hanging out the window? That building is going to have a boss fight in it. I'm assuming that is the church of this crazy Salem Witch Trial place. And you've got crazy dark skies, mountains, with building structures inside them. You know, all that cool stuff. This is a very well-designed place that I had a lot of fun with the very first time through this game. Okay. Now, this is a trap over here as well. When you go for that item there, you're going to have these guys running right at you. So you may as well pull them first. Too slow. Oh, right over his head. Come on. Yeah, notice how you don't do as much damage when you aim for the head. Or when you don't aim for the head, my bad. We got a chunk off of him. That was a score. And we had a large shard there. Lots of upgrade stones. Good for us. Now you notice the marking on the door. It is an omen as to what you're going to face when you go into this place. So, those with arachnophobia, beware. Get rid of that. And I'm going to switch to my bonk. Okay. None in the initial room overwhelming butthole <laughs> some of these are funny some of them are not just uh no don't try dashing through that's a terrible idea all right 
Now this part is hard to explain. I don't know why, but sometimes when you go in here and aggro the spiders, they attack that chest. I have absolutely no idea what the significance of the chest is. It's just a glowing orb. I don't know if it has to do with the ancient dragon or the crystal that pops up in the boss room, but I've never been able to figure out what the glowing orb is here. Use some form of fire against these spiders. See, regular arrows just didn't cut it. But if you use something that hits downward and can hit in bulk like that, Because it's super effective. Now you notice how just hitting one spider caused every single other spider to aggro out of their little hole. That's the thing. That's why you don't want to dash through. Because they're going to trap you. Now this thing, I literally just don't know what it is. It give, you get heavy bolts, and then you get whatever that ball is. I don't even know. <laughs> Somebody tell me. And when you get through here, there's a hidden wall. Just before the boss gate. Alright, and you get a Nestus Flask shard up here. Score. Okay. Now this boss can be particularly annoying. But here's the thing. All you have to do is uh, make sure that you take out the lesser mages first. They're really easy to see because they're white, and they hurl lightning spears at you. The thing that you need to completely avoid in this boss fight is the urns of water. Do not break them or roll into them because it will cause the lightning effects or the lightning attacks that the boss does to do even more damage which you do not want. So... Hmm. I've got fire bombs. I was hoping I would have some kind of buff. But I do not, unfortunately. Okay. So yeah, the thing about this boss is that you need to ignore the weaklings. Just go for the stronger enemies, because it's this boss is called the Prowling Megas. And what it is, is it's one powerful sorcerer with two lesser sorcerers and a bunch of like I don't know it's called the congregation it's just a bunch of people that make up part of the boss's health and they don't do anything the congregation doesn't do squat it's the boss itself that does all the damage so what you want to do is you want to go for the lesser mages first then go for the actual prowling megas which is a dark sorcerer that uses hexes it's very obvious once you get in there so I don't have any kind of buff but I'm just going to have to make use of my firebombs, I guess. Okay. Here we go. There they go already. You can backstab them. For lots of damage. They heal, though. They don't revive, but they can heal. So now that we got them out of the way... And yes, lock-on is such a pain in this fight... Make use of these. Ow. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, these guys are all just jokes. Kill them in like one hit. Now, all of the hexes that the Prowling Megas casts are ridiculously slow. Like that, it, if you can't dodge that, probably shouldn't be playing Dark Souls 2. So, the attack that the Prowling Megas does that sucks is the area of effect. That's what you need to watch out for. But, Prowling Megas... Ugh, that. It's like, a, it's like a hex version of Wrath of the Gods. So, you can backstab Prowling Megas if you want. Again, for lots of damage. But this boss goes down so quick it's not even funny. It's like a joke. You get a slab. You don't even get a soul item. You just get a slab. This statue, I always like to make note of. It's very interesting. It, uh... If I could get a good look at it. Hold on. Ooh. 
That looks like the, uh... That looks a lot like either the Canvas Talisman from Dark Souls or the uh, Velka Talisman. It looks like... It looks like hair. Miracles. That's right. But these right here, these urns... Yeah. You want to avoid these because... Once you get soaked like that, the uh, the two white mages will cast those crazy lightning spears at you, and it'll do a lot of damage. This over here is insignificant. I don't know why. I couldn't tell you. But over here, there's a nice little ladder leading up to an interesting, yet uh, familiar NPC. Something seems to be bothering you. Yes, yes, I can tell. It is written upon your face. You have doubts about something you did. I am Cromwell. Regret, anguish, disillusion, bewilderment. What wonderful gifts they are. Together, they are the essence of life. Don't you agree? No. But now... You're lost, bewildered by your own actions. You poor little thing. Yes, yes, how time and frail are we. But if your heart is yet sincere, your sins will be forgiven. Now is the chance. Demonstrate your sincerity to me. Okay. No, he is the Pardoner. This guy is less than 10% as cool as uh, the one from Dark Souls. He doesn't have the crazy laugh, and he doesn't give you the well, what is it gesture? So that's why he's not as cool. But you can buy the priest stuff from him. Those, that's the outfit of the priest that we just killed on the boss fight. He sells very good rings that give you good resistance. Uh, he sells infinite dark troches. And he also sells some miracles and a hex. Now, pardoning is simply going to be your way of having an NPC forgive you for pissing them off. That's all it is. It's expensive as hell, depending on your soul level. I think it's like, uh... I don't remember the math. It's like 12 times your soul level or something like that in souls. It, it's bogus. Anyone can be forgiven. As long as he is sincere. No matter how terrible the sin. Surely we all deserve mercy. Yes. Whenever you are ready. You listen here, buddy. Oswald of Kareem was an inhuman swordsman that served under Velka, the goddess of sin. Every time you aggro him, he kicks your ass, and he also has an amazing laugh every time you talk to him. You look pretty human to me. I feel like if I aggroed you, I would stomp your ass into oblivion. Always know your place. You are no partner. Not in my book. <laughs> See what I did there? The book of the Guild. Ah, you guys would only know that if you played Dark Souls. Book of the Guilty. It used to be a thing. Now we picked up some interesting equipment right there. One of which being the small cleric shield, which is pretty good. Blocks 90% lightning. And when you make it lightning, it blocks like, I think, 97 or 98 after being plus 10. It's pretty good. It's it's a decent shield for being small. I mean, it's, it's not... Yeah, that's right, it does that. Mm -hmm. A small shield used by clerics on pilgrimage, enchanted with a somewhat fragile blessing that allows spells to be deflected by parrying, especially crafted or specially crafted to provide extra durability and some level of physical defense. That's why it's good. It's small. It's considered a small shield, but you don't hold it like a small shield. You hold it like a medium shield when you guard with it, and you can in fact parry spells with it. This shield. I haven't tested it myself, but I'm fairly certain that that shield has a larger window of uh, 
spell deflection than other shields that can parry spells. Like, for example, the other one that we picked up. This right here, the Golden Wing Shield. I don't believe the window on that one is as big. I could be wrong. But I don't know. I played around with this shield in PvP a lot, and to be honest, it, it's a great shield. I like it a lot. Let's see this one. You can do it with this one, too. What do you know? Except that shield blows, especially compared to our old knight shield. Alright. You hear that twinkling? That would be a lizard. Alright, we're not going to aggro him just yet. Not quite. We'll run over here and get this bonfire first. Okay, we may as well go get this stuff down here below the bonfire. Just because. Now these both lead to the same spot. Yummy soul items. Okay. Spiders? Spiders? Uh, they always come out of nowhere. Ooh. Okay. Now that lizard is like right over our head. I think. Ugh, they're starting to shoot at me. Oh, it's you. Okay. Yeah, that lizard is like right over there somewhere. Anyways, these uh, zip lines here are going to be how you get around down here. So what I'm going to do is uh, before I aggro that lizard, which I don't think I should, we were just... <gasps> there he is. Okay. Oh, I want to get him now. I don't want to. At the same time, I don't want... Well, actually, no. I have homeward bones. Yep, I could get back. If I aggro him. Oh. Well, goodness. <laughs> that worked out pretty well. <laughs> Not... Alright, let's try that again. Maybe my items will be there. Hopefully. If they're not, I want my money back for this game. Please be there. Please be there. Oh, damn it! Uh, son of a bitch. Well, I just lost out on precious upgrade materials. Oh well. Don't do what I did. Um, anyways. Some bitch. Oh, that makes me so mad. Okay, well the reason I was hesitant I was hesitant to do that is because if you follow these zip lines, it'll lead you to another really useful bonfire. And jumping down after that lizard right away is gonna get you trapped down there, and you'll just ah, I hate that attack. And you'll just end up having to use a homer bone to get back up. Okay. Well, I'll take these guys out. It's pretty easy. Stand at an angle, and those things just explode. I gotta get rid of this guy. Now, you can headlock them like that, just keep hitting them in the face. It's easier said than done, but, I mean, with practice comes to you naturally. Okay, we'll get rid of these things again. Okay, and yeah, we learned something right there. Try to descend right there where you first see the lizard versus trying to get him like I just did. That was a terrible idea. I don't know why I didn't think it through before I did it, but whatever. Um... Ooh. Now again, the trick to doing these guys 
is to uh, stand in a spot so that their soul arrow keeps hitting the ledge. And you can just peg them with arrows. And try to use fire arrows on the spiders because they're really weak to fire. As you can see, that was like overkill, but even my normal arrows are unable to kill them in just one hit. Now right here, this is an interesting little house because if you exhaust Pate's dialogue up to this point and Creighton's dialogue, they will be fighting in here. I'm not sure if I've done it correctly because I haven't been paying attention to them very much. But if they're in here, we're going to have to do the quest. So before you go in there and they start fighting, you're going to have to pick one. Or you can just kill them both. So. Okay, they are not fighting. Good stuff. Oh, we got a buff too. I'm going to need that. things. The spider people. They are the worst. They always have ways of doing chip damage to you. Ah. And they drop random equipment too. The spiders and the spider people alike both drop random equipment. Like, you know, you could get anything from swords to shields. You can get all kinds of stuff. Armor pieces. Let's see if we can kill this guy before he catches on. And down there is a completely separate area as well. And those uh, that's the area that we were looking at from all the way up there on that path. It's pretty amazing how these games are connected together so well. Okay. I don't think there's anything in here. I think this is a pointless room. Yep, there's just a spider in there. What a waste of time. Okay. And up there is the church area. with Or the cathedral, we'll call it. With uh, Cromwell. And before we go jumping off there and doing anything courageous, what I want to do... And I can't get right there either, damn it. Just keep following the zip lines. Trust me, it'll be worth it. As long as you wait to be adventurous and try to go get loot, just keep following the zip lines and... Oh god, there's another damn red lizard down there. I think this might be the first red lizard that we've experienced in the playthrough now. The red lizards are bad. Do not try to get them. They explode. Yeah, they might dig and disappear like that, but if they see you, they run at you, and they explode. And it'll kill you in pretty much one hit. So right here, you've got casters. And spiders. Get the spiders first. Now nah, worry about the casters. Now the spells do follow you, but spells cannot turn around corners. So you could just play peekaboo with these guys and get rid of them the easy way. Lightning urns. And then down there is gonna be our bonfire. You don't want to drop down from here though, because it's gonna hurt. Just take the ladder. Got spiders down here, though. Damn spiders. Normally, two would drop down, but because we killed that one, didn't have to worry about it. So I'm going to go ahead and light that. And I'm going to open this door because the door didn't open from the other side. So... Now we're down here. There's more spiders that come over this hill. We may as well get rid of them. Petrified dragon bone. Yeah. I fucking 
hate the spiders and all of their damn chip damage. Little bastards. Okay. That giant sinkhole already ate me once. We don't want that to happen again. Over here. Eh. Can't see it because there's blood stains and all kinds of stupid shit in the way. That head flopping out of the ground there, that's a petrification lizard or a basilisk. It just looks a little bit different. Uh, don't petrify me. Alright. And when you go through here, there's a familiar face. Horn effects. Go we meet again, kind traveler. Mm, this is my workshop. In your tongue, I believe I will be called a blacksmith. I create all manner of equipment. We're using an ancient technique unique to my people. Normally, I only cater to a very select few. But I have a debt to you. I will craft one thing of your choice. My wares are far from ordinary. I am certain they will be I require no payment this time, but you must bring me a wondrous soul. My technique absolutely requires it, and I trust you will understand. Okay. Two things she just said that are completely bullshit. One, she says... I'll do one of your choice. Wrong. She's not going anywhere. She'll be a merchant to you for the rest of the game. And the second thing is she says that she requires no payment this time. Also, bullshit. Actually, no. Never mind. She's not lying. Okay. The first one she makes for free. But however, they are not free. She's going to be just like straight. It will cost something every time you try to trade a soul. Now, the Lost Sinner's soul will make her sword, the Butcher Knife from the Soul of the Rotten, the Iron King Hammer from the Soul of the Old Iron King, Dragon Slayer Spear from the Old Dragon, uh, old dragon Slayer, yada yada yada. You can buy awesome things from her. She sells the Murakumo, which is an amazing weapon. The Partisan is useful, scales with an S in dexterity with high base damage for a thrust weapon. She sells the Standard Twin Blade, she sells the Composite Bow, and a Heavy Crossbow. She sells infinite fire arrows and fire bolts. I need fire arrows. Like, a lot of them. 200 or so. She also sells um, infinite flame butterflies, limited amber herb and green blossom. And she sells basic sorceries. But she will also reinforce your equipment. All that good stuff. I need to upgrade my night shield. Ah, oh, one more chunk. Damn. I don't think there's anything else I really feel like upgrading. I got a white steel katana. That's ridiculous. Okay. Um. That's about all I need from her. Come back again if you find another soul. Okay, and I'm pretty sure that first upgrade stays free until you make your first trade with her. Okay, and there's just useless stuff in her room. That room over there, we'll get into that in a second. What I want to do is go to this bonfire, warp back up. We'll go get some of those precious items. Up here. Oh man, I'm still miffed about that damn lizard. I can't believe it made my item disappear because I died. They need to fix that shit. The damn lizards are a limited commodity. I can't believe that. That pisses me off. Well, anyway, let's try to take it this way first. If you jump right. You can land right on top of the door frame there. It's not hard, but it'll nullify the damage. 
There we go. And you can just be like, fuck you to this sorcerer. Because you know his attacks aren't going to hit you. Now you want to get rid of all of them. Fuck you, spider. I know there's one over there that I need to get rid of. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay. So first things first, we're gonna try to jump over there to get that one first. It's inside the doorway. Ah, there's a sorcerer behind us, though. Okay, this is gonna be fun. It's not impossible, but I mean, it's more difficult if you don't get rid of him. Okay. I am fairly certain that I cannot jump to that. So the place to go from here is looking to be that away. I'm gonna have to jump over the sand pit. Alright, let's get our kitty ring on for this. Alright. Now, normally I would just say fuck it and use a homered bone, but. Oh my god, how did I make that? Sweet. We got another chunk. May as well go to. Ah! I forgot. Shit, the red lizard. Okay, that one's gone too. Whew! Good. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet. That is one piece of equipment maxed out for the playthrough. Look at these maxed out equipment stats on the old Night Shield. 68 stability. And it blocks a whole lot of everything else. Except dark. Like, that's literally the only thing that can get through this shield with good damage. Is dark. Okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. Spider! Everybody hates spiders. Alright. So you got... Die. Motherfucking spiders. Okay. You guys know the drill. It's gonna be rinse and repeat. Just until we get pretty much everything on the way down. All right. Damn sorcerers. Ah. Uh, you. No, I'm gonna get you. No. No. Okay. I'm gonna zip line down here. Fuck this guy. These guys, I make them look like cheese, but they are just assholes. They will make your life a million times worse down here. I don't have to fuck with these spiders either because I don't have to conserve my fire arrows anymore. It's wonderful. Okay, so now I can go here. Now you see why I'm going through the trouble of getting most of these items. I mean, it's good stuff. And another shard. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Let's see. 
that's got an item in it. Oh, come on. There we go. Nothing? Ugh, the lizard. It's back. Let me show you what I mean. Ew. Or I'm glad he digs and disappears because I'm probably asking for trouble by trying to show you what he's capable of. I don't care about you. And yeah, you're going to have to kill them every time because they stop you from using the bonfire. This should be the very last time that we have to do this shit. I'm hoping, anyway. Actually, this way. Going this way is proven to be more effective because it's the easiest way to get all three sorcerers. Actually, hold on. Oh, those are totally flammable. Didn't even know that. Come on. Okay. Fuck you, spider. No. Stop that. We said that there was nothing in there, right? Okay, good. Good, good. Just scoping it out for anything super secret. Hmm. Okay. God. There's one more. Okay. Now, by my knowledge, that looks to be everything. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So. Now what we need to do... Arrgh! Let's kill the damn spiders again. Yeah, you can try to dodge. And we need to go back to Majula and use those precious Estus shards that we picked up because we want more flasks. Now the boss is surprisingly early into this level. Is that a shard? Yes, it's a shard. Take both of them. Twice? Cool. Okay. Um, I don't need that. So I may as well just put these in decks. Alright guys, well, we did, we did the first big part of Brightstone Cove. We covered the introduction area with the peasants, and then we got into the areas with the spiders, and we got most of those nasty treasures down there, but that is all the time that I have for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always. I have been your faithful host, Let's Play Dark Souls HD, and I will see all of you in the next video.
See you.